guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to the two episodes 19 and 20 of Sounds of Life. So let's go ahead and get started with episode 19 and 3, 2, 1, go. Sorry. Shiver. This is about the girl who doesn't like Hoseki, right? Mm. Maybe something happened to her brother? I mean... Why would you start the episode like this? It's like the one episode of 22-7 with one of the girls where she had a really, she was sick at a really young, bad young age. And so she had to be hospitalized and she was with these group of kids. And she made a friend with one of the group of kids. And in the end, the girl who she was friends with passed away due, due to her illness that she had. And um, eventually she was, uh, the, her friend, or really her, really, um, was better, but she felt like she should have died and not her friend, but it was like her friend was giving her her life up. It, it, it's just a really interesting episode. If you haven't seen 22-7, I really recommend it. I mean, not only because it's an idol anime, because there are a lot of emotional moments in the show. It's more than an idol as anime. It's a different type of idol anime, but it's really interesting. It was one of those like underrated shows from winter this past year because not many people are watching it. I think it was like me and a couple of other people. So cute. Something had to happen to him. And I, I hate the fact that I'm thinking like that, but it's just why would you start the episode with her brother? Something about that's not right to me. He's just that good. Participation. Well, participation is just as good as first place. I mean, it's still good. You just gotta keep practicing. No, you're not a failure, honey. Stop practicing. <laughs> and you have to practice.
until he was perfect. I told you. I freaking told you. Oh my god. Fuck off the phone. Those are parts. He has no other choice. He has to, you know. Yeah, so that's why he has to get a job. Because he knows that you will succeed him. Just for the next two years, what the fuck? Suck down that darkness. Yeah, 
And then Hozuki comes in and be like, mm. and then just darkness, emptiness. I feel nothing anymore. And it's just so weird to see it in a different POV. Just, oh. To know that a middle school student is, <laughs> that level that she has is way beyond you. She would never be on her level. Now, because both of you. I don't know, I mean, even after seeing this part, it just seems like everything that she's done. Gotta feel bad for her. And even now, she hasn't even escaped it. And so it, it's sad. Like, everything that's happened to her is just, oh, God, I can't. Yep. And of course, every mom would steal that shit like a bitch she is. Just look how empty she looks. It's not only because of the fact is her brother had to quit, her parents died. It's like she's lost herself in the reason of why she's still doing this. She was doing it because she wanted to be first place like her brother, but because her brother had to quit his, you know, school and everything to get a job because their parents got killed in a car accident. It's, it's, she's a completely different person. It's like she has no feelings with anything. It's the only time that she feels light. She's been so tainted and corrupted by darkness that she doesn't even know what it's like. Real anymore. I hate looking at her sometimes because the fact is her eyes, 
her eyes scare the shit out of me. And it's just like, oh my God, you, it's just the traumatizing, something like that can put on a person, that stress. I mean, okay, you can see as of right here, anytime when she's talking to someone, she has like her pupils and everything, the like uh, the white parts in their eyes. But when you look at a point where she, you literally, right there, she has nothing in her eyes. Her soul is freaking dead because of the ish that she had to deal with. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh. Oh. Oh. Yeah, he really does. It's cute, though. But see, the question I want to know is, like, what the hell got her disqualified? For singing it or something? I mean, it's a lot of unanswered questions with it because it didn't necessarily say why she got disqualified. It had the note and everything there when she threw her freaking war down, but... It's basically like, I don't need your pity. I don't need you to feel sorry for me.
She might not ever escape. Honestly. Let me just say this real quick. It feels like with her, with Akira, it's any moment where she takes one step forward, something happens and grabs her and she takes like several steps back and she doesn't know what to do. Anytime when she is around Hoski, which I, I felt like, you know, in a weird way, Hoski is like her light for her to get better and to finally accept everything that she's done the consequences, everything that's happened to her because of certain reasons that is not her fault. You know, her parents said her brother having to quit college and going into um, the work industry no matter what. It's not her fault at the end of the day. But it seems like in a way she still blames herself. And that's why she's still shrouded in this darkness, has um, feels a certain type of way towards Hoski and still resents Hoski. She blames her for all of the things possibly that happened to her because of the fact is the day when Hoski played that performance and Akira's getting disqualified and everything that she's done for two years and then getting disqualified always for nothing. And so, yeah, she had a reason to lash out. And then I do love the fact that you got to see a little bit more into Hoski's performance that day in a different POV because you're kind of, you're wondering how, each person or someone who is the most important in Hoseki's life besides her mother or a friend or family member, how how they felt at that time. Because we all know how Hoseki felt during that performance. And I was like, hmm, I wonder if we're ever going to get somebody else. And then, bam. Okay. I'm not really surprised about that. But why, though? I mean, because of the fact is that she said it with Hoseki. There's a lot of unanswered questions still left on the table, so hopefully episode 20 gives me a little more details into her, her backstory. I feel like now with the preview of that and her opening the door, that is her officially let going, uh, let going, let, <laughs> letting go <laughs> of the darkness around her and all of her um, her resentment, her thoughts, her fears, anything that she's felt um, ever since her parents died, her brother died you know, quitting college and everything. All of it, like, it, it's like a wall. It, it's a wall of darkness, and it's just slowly chipping away. Not only with her talking about Hoseki, but finally for her to be like, you know what, I'm done. I'm done with this. I want to start anew for me, not to be, you know, being called a poor thing or whatever. The fact that she's always going to be known for as someone who got disqualified because of this reason and such. There's so many things that I felt like because of this next episode, She's, it feels like she's going to start a new. I'm not 100% sure until we watch this next episode. But yeah, we'll see in a couple of minutes. But yeah, go ahead and pause the video and I'll see you guys in one second for episode 20. Okay, episode 20 and 3, 2, 1, go. It's in my eye. Oh my god. Nope, it's still in my eye. Oh my god. Gotta be a fucking eyelash or something. What the hell? Sorry. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh. Hello, puppy. Come here. Come here. No. <laughs> Come here. Hello. Hello, big boy. Hello. How you doing today? You're right, you're right. Don't talk. 
See, okay, here's the one thing I don't like about her grandmother. I do like the fact that she's giving her things and benefits for her, but it's just she's a certain type of way. I mean, mm -hmm. Okay. Mm, yeah, no, I don't think it was sarcasm. I think it was just the truth. Just like you in some way, but still. Heck, I just like you. I still feel sorry for you. Uh-huh. Well, they got it. Here, take my hand. <laughs> At least you're trying, though. Cody! Oh, yeah, 
it all. Oh, honey. Oh my god, here, take my hand. No, stop. <laughs> All right, go play. Just relax. Feels like he's hesitating in a way, and he keeps fucking up. But it's just yeah. It's better if you play along with the solo. Chica. No, don't be sorry. Cody! Come here. Because you, you're not gonna. Come on. Uh, okay. No. <laughs> All right. Now sit, please. Ah. 
Not because of you. Be eyes. <laughs> no, because she was thinking of her brother, and that no matter what, how many times he kept trying and trying until he got it. Look, it's okay. What? He's right about that. That's the only way you'll find that rhythm. Now just imagine all the plan that I mean ooh, that's gonna be like some top tier ish.
Yeah. It's <laughs> beautiful. Okay. Got your hair all in my fingers. Very serious. It's you had all the credit this last time. Yeah, I mean scissors, he he show up out of the mother F and blue. Mm, okay, no, I thought it was going to be the credits. Oh, 
Okay, so number one, I do love the fact that in a way she stood up to her grandmother. I mean, so I don't like her grandmother. I mean, honestly, her grandmother is possibly the least, my least favorite character of this series because, oh God, she's on that list of anime characters and characters from other series that I can't stand. It's just, oh God. I mean, and I've met some people like her grandmother and I'm like, yeah, I just don't want to give them the time of day because like, ugh. but Oh God, just that feeling that she said when she was just like, I'm going to go to bed. May I go to bed? You're like, oh, shit. I really thought she was going to like lash out at her grandma and say things but like, Hey, you're wrong about them. They're not like this. They're like that. They're completely different. It's only because her grandma has seen this group play in a way. She's only, you know, sees everything through Akita. So it's very little to none in my opinion. It's almost like how, God, how can I compare this? Uh, oh, okay. You know, all right. If any of you have seen the movie Ice Princess, it's a really old freaking film. Um, when her mom took the longest time to finally go see her skate, it felt it feels like that in the situation where, um, Akita's grandma hasn't seen these these characters play, and so yeah, she feels a certain type of way. But still, I mean, her grandma. Be. like oh my god but like i'm glad she you know is able to come back and teach these these group of kids because i mean honestly and seeing her and all of the kids play together oh my god that was beautiful so freaking beautiful possibly maybe my favorite performance until you know we see you know our group play again and i really cannot wait we're in the final like six episodes final three weeks of this show before i'm done with it and I'm, I'm scared and I'm excited, a little nervous to see what could possibly happen in next, what's in store for these characters, because I, I just, I want everything for them. I want them to just be successful, be able to get to nationals. I don't know when. I'm a little iffy until maybe give me about, give me until maybe about episode 24 on that. Because as of right now, I don't think they could win nationals. The biggest thing is I just want them to get to nationals and to have that shot. Maybe once we get to episode 24 and before we get to the last two episodes of this series, then maybe I'll change my mind and possibly say like, yeah, I think they could win or no, I don't feel like they could. I just want them to get to nationals at the end of the day, no matter what. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction for you towards episodes 20. I mean, no, we're not even 20. 19 and 20 of Sounds of Life. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Matchless Squad. And of course, I will see you guys for sure next Friday for Patreons. And next Tuesday for everybody else for episodes 21 and 22. Bye, guys.